Oh bother, it looks like Winnie the Pooh fans are in for a bloodbath. When author A. A. Milne and illustrator E. H. Shepard created their 1926 children's book Winnie the Pooh, one assumes it never crossed their minds that the titular character and his neighbors in the Hundred Acre Wood would be reimagined as sadistic killers nearly a hundred years later. Please to be friends, why are you doing this, please? Inspired by the real-life teddy bear and other toy animals owned by A. A. Milne's son, Christopher Robin Milne, the Winnie the Pooh franchise was synonymous with wholesome family entertainment, up until 2022. Spanning books, stage plays, radio shows, films, and TV series, both animated and live-action, Winnie the Pooh centers on the daily activities of the namesake honey-loving bear. A naive yet gentle creature, Pooh spends most of his time learning valuable life lessons while getting in and out of trouble with his friends. Their ranks include the plucky piglet, anxious rabbit, downbeat Eeyore, boisterous Tigger, and their sole human companion, an ever-patient, soft-spoken boy by the name of Christopher Robin. This is sort of a nothing thing we're doing right now. I wish it could last forever. Outside of A.A. A. Milne's original books, most people likely associate Winnie the Pooh first and foremost with the many TV shows, shorts, and feature films Disney has made since it gained the rights to the property in 1961. Most of these projects have taken on the form of pleasantly colored animated works full of cheerful songs and whimsical merriment. Save for one-off moments of spooky strangeness like the Heffalumps and Woozles musical number from the 1977 movie The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Compared to the upcoming slasher film, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, however, that infamously surreal tune is as harmless and soothing as Pooh napping against a tree on a sleepy summer afternoon. You know, you're the first person I've ever shown this place to. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey was announced in early 2022, shortly after A. A. Milne and E. H. Shepard's original novel entered the public domain at the start of the year. While the Mouse House still retains the exclusive rights to its specific version of Winnie the Pooh and his friends, Blood and Honey writer-director Reese Frake Waterfield and production company Jagged Edge Productions are free to revamp the characters as they deem fit. And how have they chosen to do so? Blood and Honey sees a grown-up Christopher Robin, played by Nikolai Leon, heading off to college in a plot that, at first, seems like it was lifted right out of Toy Story 3. But where that film saw its characters undergo a touching, poignant emotional journey, Waterfield's horror movie has Pooh and Piglet going on a rampage. The filmmaker explained the logic behind this story in a May 2022 interview with Variety, stating, Christopher Robin is pulled away from them, and he's not given them food. It's made Pooh and Piglet's life quite difficult, because they've had to fend for themselves so much, they've essentially become feral. So they've gone back to their animal roots. They're no longer tame. They're like a vicious bear and pig who want to go around and try and find prey. Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, we were friends for many years, and they're out there. If Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey sounds as dour as Rabbit on a blustery day, Reese Frake Waterfield assured Variety that the movie has a sense of humor about itself. He noted, When you try and do a film like this, and it's a really wacky concept, it's very easy to go down a route where nothing is scary and it's just really ridiculous and really, like, stupid and we wanted to go between the two. There are, in fact, some legally imposed limits to the film's depravity. Characters like Tigger are still under copyright and could not be included in Blood and Honey. In case anyone was afraid the movie would feature your favorite springy feline bouncing someone to death, a la the notorious pogo stick kill in Leprechaun. Pooh will also be swapping out his famous red top for a lumberjack shirt to better set him apart from the Disney version. Much like Piglet will be dressed all in black. Waterfield joked, no one is going to mistake this for Disney. When you see the cover for this and you see the trailers and the stills and all that, there's no way anyone is going to think this is a child's version of it. Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey is scheduled to open in theaters on February 15, 2023.